You're watching North Alabama's News Leader. This is News 19 at 4. The city of Huntsville is taking action to clean up the Derrick Street homeless camp. The city says conditions in the camp have gotten worse in recent weeks, making it a threat to health and safety of those who live there. News 19's Emily Mosner joins us live just outside the camp. Emily, what needs to happen for this cleanup to get started? That's right, Lauren. Well, the city of Huntsville tells me that conditions on the other side of this fence have become a health hazard. Now, because of that, at around 10 o'clock this morning, the city of Huntsville started putting out these notices, letting people know that they have two weeks to vacate the camp. Now, right now, they're asking that people temporarily relocate to a site just down the block here on Derrick Street. The city is giving them until October 16th to move their belongings to that temporary site. After that, the city says they're going to come out and completely clean out the site. They say they'll be removing debris, trash, leftover belongings and completely starting fresh. This comes just two weeks after a fire ignited at the site, worsening those conditions. Not only the fire, we've had deaths there and other injury, uh, you know, a, a drug issue. So uh, this location has went through a lot in, in the recent history. So we're stepping in uh, and, and cleaning this, resetting uh, this location for individuals uh, who are living and sustaining themselves at this site. The city says their long term goal is to get people into more permanent housing. Today, representatives were from more than a dozen organizations were on site to speak with camp residents about resources and help them access resources that they might need. Now, you can see on the back of the flyer that they've been handing out today is a list of those resources. Now, the site that they're asking people to relocate to is just down the block. I can actually see it from here. Now, as of right now, it doesn't look like anybody has actually transitioned to that new site just yet. Now, the city of Huntsville says they do not have a timeline or an estimate on how long it might take to actually clear out the site here, but we will of course keep you updated. For now, live in Huntsville, Emily Moser, News 19.